So, essentially, I think, for me, the last two years of the gossip cycle was honestly like the darkest time in my life that I've ever went through. Me and Kellen talked on the phone one day, you know, before we started writing this new record. We were just like, is this what we want to do anymore? Because there was so many things that were getting in the way. And I didn't know how to really overcome it, you know. I went through a lot of personal ups and downs and my life was kind of like a, f a mess. And the way I got out of that is by writing something that I love and writing something that I care about, which is this new record. I would say music has been like my complete escape and writing all these new songs, all 11 of them actually have like the most meaning to me out of anything we've ever done. It was really weird to be in a spot where me personally, like. I would be going up there and not having any connection to what I was playing or what I was doing. And it just got to the point where I was putting everything else before music. And that's not, and by everything else, I just mean like partying. You know what I mean? Like I was doing all of that and then music came third or fourth. Man, I mean, honestly, it's just really easy to do. Like you're, you're on the road every day, you get caught up, you kind of like, you forget that you have a home life. Wow. You, you can't really come back from that you know it's really tough it takes a lot yeah. and with like a friend like kellen and nick and the rest of my dudes that kind of help you pull out of that it takes a solid group of people to help you pull out of that really really dark place that you're in like on the last tour like i hit the wall and i was just like i cannot do this shit anymore like i need to figure it out and i did i think i'm just doing you know it for myself and for my band and like it it's just you realize you have such a disconnect with back home because you're putting all the all the other bullshit first so you can't really say like it affected it in a major way but because you kind of forget about it you live like two separate lives when your life should be one together like you want your other half to be interested and intrigued about your day and what you're doing and then with everything else you know coming into play like drugs and alcohol, like, you lose that other half and you put everything else first. When, when you're basically drinking yourself to sleep every night, obviously you feel hopeless, you feel worthless, like, you feel, you feel very, very beaten and broken. And, you know, that's how I felt, you know, for two, not now, obviously, but for those two years. So I felt really beaten, I felt broken. We were, you know, it was our first, like, major label experience and we were touring, like, 10 months out of the year and nothing was going the way we wanted it to go. And as an artist, you pour your heart into something and you work so hard and you don't see the reward from it. And that can put you in a very, very dark spot. When you write these songs and think that you have a connection, then other people don't seem to connect with them as well. You're like, what, why am I, why am I doing this? Why am I here? That's why writing this new record, like we feel like we're back. All the songs have a connection. All the songs have emotion. Everything is, I feel like I have a place. I feel like the response and, you know, all the fans are loving the song. I feel like people are connecting to these songs more, which is why I was so down because we wrote these songs and we thought that people would connect and it wasn't a connection. And now that we have people connecting again and relating to the new songs and the, the excitement is back and I feel it as well. So it's like, for me now, I don't feel hopeless or any, you know, any of those anymore. Like, I feel like we're back and I feel like we're here to stay. If you're struggling and need support, go to heartsupport.com backslash SWS. It's okay to be not okay, but it's not okay to just stay there. This post is just proof that you don't want to stay there. This isn't the most like happy, fun thing to discuss, but the fact that we're discussing it is giving the opportunity for other people to be brave like you are.